Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about the Juvia's Place Tribe Palette. I remember when they gave us a sneak peek of this packaging and I was like, I don't know what to expect. Is it gonna be a green palette or are they just using that as a fun pop of color in the packaging? Like I really wasn't sure what to expect. And my new favorite thing about Juvia's is that they'll sneak peek something and usually you can expect it to launch very close to when it's like sneak peeked and so it was very exciting when they launched this palette of course I had to get my grubby little paws on this because I have been on a green palette kick lately if you guys haven't seen I did a little video called my green eyeshadow palette collection I will try and remember to throw it up in the cards for you guys so you can watch it and I had more green eyeshadow palettes than I thought I did and since I've been playing with this one I do feel like some of the other palettes I have are very similar. I think this one is a good dupe for like the Jeffree Star Alien palette. And it also reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona Gold palette because of the shade in the middle. So I wanna show you guys swatches really quick. There are six matte shades and three shimmers. The three shimmers are in the middle. I like how this palette is laid out. It almost feels like you could create an eye look with each, you know, row. So it's very very nice i'm actually wearing this green in my crease today i have used this palette three times like this is my third eye look that i created with this palette so of course take it with a grain of salt i would ideally love to keep using this palette before i review it but i feel like you know with youtube sometimes you do have to kind of be timely too otherwise this palette is just going to be irrelevant and you guys will all move on from it so i decided after three times that was a good enough amount of trying the palette to review it. Plus I have almost all of Juvia's Place's eyeshadow palettes. I did not buy the Warrior 2 palette. It is an all matte palette and I just didn't feel like I needed it. Oh, I'm so sorry, I forgot about this shade. It's called Kurla, so I was wrong. It's, it's actually um, five mattes and four shimmers. So I'm so sorry about that. I don't know why this Kurla shade is actually the only shimmer and the only shade in the palette I haven't used because I just gravitate so much to the greens in this palette. I mean, I feel like we've seen shades like this in other Juvia's Place palettes, but it's so nice that they did like this green color story. I'm obsessed with the shade Ashan Ashanti, I believe. That's that shade right there. It's like a nice pukey, baby puke green <laughs> color. I love this like iridescent green shimmer, which is called Koro. And then Chaga is beautiful too because it does have, it's like a bronze, but it has a green like duo chromey like sheen to it. So I love these shades and they just pair so well together. I've worn, like I said, all of these shades except the orange one. So I am obsessed with this palette. I just want to show you guys this is the packaging. Looks exactly like the palette packaging. On the back here it says the Tribe Eyeshadow Palette, a one-of-a-kind true embodiment of beauty at its finest. Together we stand strong, confident, and bold. Consists of nine highly pigmented shadows. Now they did do a collection with this. They did the palette, two brushes, they did a highlighter brush, and an eyeshadow brush as well as three highlighters and I really wanted to pick up the highlighters and try them out because I've never tried a highlighter from Juvia's Place. I do have their blush palette which has like blush highlighter type products so I guess I could say I have tried some of their face products and I have not had a problem with it but the one thing I did bring up in in my Will I Buy It video and I did have a few of you agree with me is I don't understand like this particular palette from Juvia's is $20 and their highlighters are $14. So I have a hard time justifying the price where I could have a, I could have a whole eyeshadow palette for 20 bucks and then I have to buy one highlighter for 14. So I am trying not to buy highlighters because I have way too many. Hopefully, I'm hoping to film like collection video for you guys. I just, I'm so, I'm not OCD, but I feel like this room could be cleaner and just more pretty. So I keep putting off filming it for you guys, but I do have a week off for the holidays, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and capitalize on having a chunk of time that I can put towards maybe like a declutter and also showing you all my Alex drawers behind me. So I think that might be a fun video. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing that. I did film how I did this look. Of course, it's very simple, easy to do. So let's go ahead and watch that footage and I will be right back. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
Bye, take care, love you. Love you too, bye. I just gave the doctor a video and got it this time. Oh. Mm, bye. So I've already worn this palette twice and this is going to be my third time wearing this palette and I wanted to include a clip of me using this palette in my review video of this palette. So I've basically dipped into the shade Oromo um, Chaga. I did use Ashanti. Coro is beautiful. So I haven't really used this row. I also did use Maasai um, yesterday. I did like a green look with that. So I've dipped into all of these shades. Actually, I haven't used Kurla uh, because that's like more of a regular like copper tone. So let's try and use this row and see if we can incorporate Kurla or not or whatever. Um, I did say a review. It could, I guess you guys could consider a first impression. It's really not. I personally am loving this palette. I think if you didn't get the Melt um, smoke session palette this could be a decent replacement for that because you can achieve some really beautiful green looks with this so I'm so glad I picked this up and I'm so glad um, Juvia's decided to come out with a palette like this so I'm gonna dip this brush which is an M443 into the shade Tootsie and it's like a beautiful green and I'm just gonna place that in my crease these colors are they're not like overly pigmented or overly soft so I don't feel like there's too, too much like fallout and stuff with it, but I decided to do my shadow first. I'm actually going to my friend Kelsey's house because she's having me do her makeup. She is a violinist and she is doing some performances for the holiday season in the area. So it's been really fun working with her. I did her makeup yesterday and so she's got two performances today. So we're going to do her makeup in the afternoon time so she can wear them through the performance. I'm trying to not scare her family with this green eyeshadow look, but honestly, I don't have a lot of time to film, especially with the holidays and just gearing up for them with work and stuff. I haven't really been filming. And so I missed that and I want to have like a review on this palette for you guys. So I decided I'm going to use the Juvia's Place palette instead of like a neutral palette. So now I'm just going into this shade Sand, which is like a really nice foresty green color. It's this shade right here, and I'm just using that to deepen up the outer crease. It's just kind of crazy though with all the green palettes that have been coming out. I feel like they are kind of catering to that market of like we haven't really had a lot of green palettes. so. A lot of these shades are kind of starting to look the same and I'm not trying to be like complaining about it I'm just saying I have a lot of green palettes so it feels like a lot of these shades are kind of repeats in my collection now I'm going into Cuba which is the dark green um, shimmer shade in the palette or the darkest green and I'm just dipping into it and spreading it on my lid I might need to wet this brush a little bit and I just realized that there's three shimmer shades and six mattes. The middle row is the shimmer row. Oh, you guys, these colors, um, especially the one in the middle called Chaga, reminds me so much of the Natasha Denona Gold palette. It has that like green, green gold tint to it. And there is a shade like that in the gold palette as well. So it's super duper pretty. And these Juvia's... About, um, eyeshadows foil really well um, so that's exciting and I think this tri palette is my new favorite palette from them like these colors just like speak to me on like a spiritual level <laughs> you guys it's they're just so stunning and um, yeah, I just feel like this is my favorite Juvia's palette because I used to really like the, or I do still like the Doge Douche palette, the Douche palette, um, and it's beautiful. But I think that came out maybe in 2017. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong because I really don't remember. Um, but this palette by far is my favorite color story, and I. I kind of want to stop buying Juvia's Place because I really don't use a lot of their other palettes or I'm thinking I might just declutter them on my Poshmark and just keep the ones 
that I really love because I don't want to be wasteful and just like hold on to things like yeah I reviewed it but now I'm kind of like over it so I don't need to keep everything so I might do that but I'm also kind of secretly hoping that Juvia's does like a green so this is the green I hope they do like a yellow uh, maybe like a blue purple pink like you know do all the primary shades and do like nine pan palettes like this but this one is stunning so I did finish my eye look I'm gonna put foundation on and come back and talk more about this palette okay guys so I hope you enjoyed the demo I did like I said in the beginning of the video I kind of wanted to show you guys little bits of my green eyeshadow palette collection so this palette is the Huda Emerald Obsession palette as you can see side by side these don't look very similar I think the Huda one it is a nice size I think they do a lot of cool tones in this palette but they also threw in some warmer green so it's a nice and like mix of things personally I still prefer this one because it's just warm and it goes well with my complexion so I love that this is a hidden like love of my collection because I did not like the Melt 27 palette that I picked up from them but my Smoke Sessions palette is gorgeous again I have not used this enough since I filmed I filmed like a first impressions video with this like a little get ready with me showing you guys this palette and I did one eye look on one eye and another eye look on another eye so I'll show you that video I'll link it up in the cards as well so you guys can see it these two also really remind me of each other as you can see there are some golden green shades in this corner which I think are fabulous and then this these greens I, I just love this palette so much it's definitely one of my favorite palettes of 2018 they've really been killing it and then this is the Jeffree Star Alien palette which I also haven't really used a whole lot since I did a get ready with me video when I first got this palette so I went in with the greens in the Jeffree Star video and I honestly am kind of embarrassed to report that I haven't gone back to this palette and used it so one of my goals obviously in 2019 is to buy less eyeshadow palettes and do more content with them kind of spread them out maybe do like a first impressions definitely I want to do more looks I am not a makeup artist by any means my eyeshadow looks are very simple but I think you know I can kind of show you guys how I pair shades in palettes and things like that and it always helps to see how the shadows apply on your eye too so Hopefully you guys will enjoy that content, but as far as this tripe palette goes, honestly, this is a knockout palette from Juvia's Place. It is my favorite Juvia's Place palette. It has, it has beat the douche palette for me, and I'm so pumped that I have it, and I really hope to use it more. So if you've been on the fence of picking this up, or you've been like trying to figure out, oh yeah, I have the Alien palette, or I have the Huda palette, or I have the Smoke Session palette, I think this one will still hold its own. I think if you're a beginner and greens kind of scare you, this is still a good one because you still have those neutrals that you can mix things in with it. Or if you love green like me, you can just go balls to the wall and just get like a super intense green eyeshadow look like I created today. So I hope you guys found this review useful and entertaining. Definitely let me know down in the comments if you picked up this palette or if you are passing on it. And I will catch you guys in my next review soon. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Bye.